All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday, and you guys have decided Ancient Gears. So uh, the version that I would decide to go with for now is I'm going to try out the the, the Fusion variant. The Fusion variant. I could have went with the whole, you know, gold gadget, silver gadget, gear gear play. And I was like, yeah, 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 let me, let me try this out. Let me try this out. Oh, you made me go first? Oh, you bitch. You bitch. I, I don't want to do anything. Like... I, I, I don't really want to do anything. So, we're running the 50 card variant. Uh, we have some filler cards to allow me to play, uh, uh, oh my god, what is it? Uh, Pot, Pot of Desire, uh, yeah, Pot of Desire, so that's fine. Uh, we got our Max C, even though with that too, this is updated. Uh, we're playing on Legio Pro, so the list has updated, which is, which is good, which is good. You're gonna fusion them and drop the Max C. You know? And they'll be like, what? That's at two. Like, so I opened up with it. And this deck, I would prefer to go second. You know, I prefer to go second. If you're for a deck that prefers to go second, I still think you should play the maxi. Even though you only have a 25% chance of opening up with it. If you're a deck that likes to go second, something aggressive like Blue Eyes, you should play the maxi. Even though it's, I think it's like 23%. Uh, we're going up against uh, Luna Lights, which is okay because at least, um, at least. He didn't get into... He can't kill me. He can't kill me because there's no monsters to attack multiple times. He's just uh, attack me directly, so I'll take it. Uh, we max seed. We evened out, which is, I guess, okay. And I believe I can actually fusion summon, but I believe this card cannot be destroyed by battle, so rip on that. But I believe, yeah, I can. I can fusion summon you, you, and you will count as the Ancient Gear, uh, ancient gear Golem, while you two are the Ancient Gears. So I can go into my fusion monster, who uh, does double piercing damage... Uh, if this card is destroyed, I can summon an Ancient Gear Golem from my deck in more summoning condition. And the, usually you can't play the spells and traps. So, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, this is the whole reason why we're, we're running this deck, right? So, I'm going to fusion summon. You don't know what I'm playing. All right. And then you max see me. Like, see? See? And we're both playing very aggressive decks that would like to go second. So, that's why he, when we dueled, he made me go uh, first. Because he won the Paper, Rock, Scissors. So, we're going to go ahead and summon my uh, Ancient Gear Super Chocolate Fudge Covered. Which is awesome. And you cannot uh, strike me. You cannot strike me because uh, I'm not inherent summon it, and not, I don't plan on activating an effect right now. So you're gonna take a shit ton of damage, but of course you cannot be destroyed by battle. So rip. So that's kind of sucks. Uh, we got our ancient gear catapult, which is nice. It's just, uh, I mean, I control the monster. I can target a face up card you control. I said, I'm running it. I'm running this triple of this because it's really good, and triple gear town as well. But I didn't get the gear town, so. Uh, I'm still debating on whether I want to run terraforming. I know, 50 card deck and you're not running the terraforming for the gear town. The problem with it is, is that it's, it, I could go all out and get the gear town, but then sometimes it's not really necessary, you know? Like, when I, when I do the deck profile eventually, if I still stick with this deck by the end of the month, you'll see uh, that there's a lot of other cards that are more important to run. Like, I'm actually running the back row, even though I got the solemn warning. I'm not sure how useful that will be. Like, like he, he can easily go ahead and fusion summon into something else. Like, I'm definitely lower on resource than he is. Oh, fusion substitute instead of poly. Okay, so that fusion monster goes. He can go, well, he can just return any fusion monster, right? And then draw an additional card. So that's pretty good instead of the poly. Uh, think about just warning that because there's really nothing else to warning. Like, I'm just going to warning that. There's nothing else to warning, so. And then put you a turn behind because you got that fusion substitute, which means that you want the monster on the field, but now you don't have the monster on the field to fusion substitute. See, I'm smart. I'm smart. <laughs> Uh, so, you guys have already seen it, my uh, my mission video to the next great Yuki Super Season 4. Hopefully I get accepted. You guys are giving me a lot of positive feedback and also other uh, people who are joining as well. Wow, now I get the trade-in. Now I get the trade-in after I fucking pitched like everything that was 8. So, uh, of course, it's not good to turn this to defense mode, so you might as well keep it into attack mode. And I'm, not, I'm still not getting anything. Uh, I, I can easily see him coming back, but I think, that, I think this was a fine warning, you know? So she still can't be destroyed by battle, so he's still safe. It's just, I just don't have anything. You know? Well, he could easily just get yet another uh, uh, Lunalite monster and then fuse again. Oh, the same exact monster at that, you know? I mean, my warning wasn't terrible. I still pushed him back a turn. It's just, I'm just trying to figure out how he's going to deal with this. You know, none of his monsters really deal with this, so. So he can go ahead and go into that. Uh, he didn't get the one to like drop me down to zero. Maybe he'll fusion substitute and put that back draw card at least. Maybe Regeki me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sort of trying to figure out what Panther Dancer can do to my uh, my super ultimate ancient gear goal. It's like you're Serena and I'm like one of them uh, <laughs> generic ass uh, soldiers, academy soldiers.
uh, and that anime plug. If you're not watching Arc V, then rip. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm enjoying Arc V. It, it seems like it's wrapping up, but it's an okay show. So uh, thank you guys for all the support. Like I said, the, the, the initial video went up, and it's getting a lot of likes. It's getting a lot of views. So hopefully they select me, you know? Uh, I'd say I'm probably one of the bigger ones. I'd say I'm, like, so far from what I've seen, I'm, like, the... I'm like the second biggest. I think I'm the second biggest person in the competition so far. So far, you know, this is the last day. Friday is the last day. So, uh, okay. So you gotta summon that back, and it's gonna be destroyed by. Uh, it's a card effect, right? It just say when this card is destroyed. Period. And this card in the field is destroyed by, by card effect, including being destroyed by card effect of the rival of the tiger. Then, rip. <laughs> problem is you're going to go ahead and summon a Lunalite monster, and depending on what you summon, it might be able to pierce it unless you summon attack mode, and your attacks aren't the greatest either, so you're going to summon Butterfly, okay. Alright, I got my Toon Table, so I can go ahead and Toon Table, Toon Table deck then, so, as I said, there's a lot of filler sh fluffing here that allows me to play a 50 card variant, you know. So I can literally go Toon Table, Toon Table, Toon Table, get my Toon uh, Ancient Gear. Uh, I know someone dueled me with a similar version of this deck. Uh, and Vine on my live stream this previous Saturday, and he inspired me a lot to go with this variant because I was like, I could go with the just the level four one and you know the the, the kind of trait, but I was like, that's not really ancient gear. Like when Lithium put up that video, I was like, that's not that's not ancient gear. So you're gonna hit me with the breakthrough skill, so you can hit me with the background. Like okay, so maybe I'll draw into a twin twister, or not, or not. Uh, I got my gear town with my gear catapult, so that's fine, but... Oh, I don't do double piercing. I don't think this is, might be... Maybe it'll be back row? Like, if it was back row, we could stop anyway, but I can't do my double piercing. Okay. Uh, you send this card from your hand, and then target one of my matches, and then the You send this card from your gear, especially some of my monster from your hand, you can only... Okay. So, what's the plan with, with Butterfly? If there's really... I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and just attack the, the Panther Dancer. She could be destroyed in battle, unless the set card or something, but then I still have plays with this and this, so... Uh, I'm not gonna do double pierce, because he's... I see, it's like he breakthrough skill me to get my effect for the double pierce, but then I could just run her over, because she could be destroyed by battle still, so... Like, there's really no point in me attacking this, because not only will you get the banished special summon line monster from her hand, but there's no point in doing my double pierce, because he breakthrough skill me. So, rip on that, I guess. <laughs> If Ingo Swamp goes as double, I can go ahead and pitch it to get a poly, and it could be the Ancient Gear Golem name, like we just did to summon this. Oh, oh, got that wolf. All right, well, up. Uh, looks like you'll be busting out, um, what's her name? What's her name? Super Panther Dancer, whatever her fucking name is. Uh, Leo Dancer, Leo Dancer. If the Leo Dancer is not strong enough to get over my, uh, my Super Chocolate Fudge Covered Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, so I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I guess I can go ahead and talk to you guys about how college is going. So, um, I'm still in that class by myself. It's, like I said, it's just me. It's just me. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to go ahead and go into her. Don't you have some kind of effect that you, like, destroy all special monsters or something like that? You do. At the end of the damage step, this card attacks a monster. You can destroy all special monsters. Yep, yep. So, you can attack and then destroy my special summon monster. So, rip on that. How do you summon that back? Do you have something to summon that? Oh, he summoned it back with, uh, with this. Okay, so then you're going to crack your pendulum scale. And then if this card is on the field, including, uh, by, uh, it's his own effect. Like, it's pendulum scale. Like, then you stop doing cards like that. Well, I am dead. I am dead. You you had perfectly everything to handle this situation. You top decked that wolf. That MST was good. Like, all of that was good. So, like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. That's the classic anime, anime play. I'm just a generic fucking soldier who plays uh, fucking Ancient Gear, and I get destroyed by the main character, fucking Serena. So I'll rip on that. Like, wow. Uh, that was a good game, though. All right, we'll get another duel. Bear back. All right. Get another duel. I will go second, because I prefer to go second. All right. Oh, we got some cards. We got, we got our Pot of Desires. We got the trading. We got some draws, man. We can catapult it, or we can see some Yang Zing play shenanigans. Like, all right. Ah, uh, Ying Zings. I can't believe they turned into a stun deck. Like, like it, it's just so hard to respect them when they just turn into this. You know, go ahead and, you know, these two go ahead and turn into that. Get your Solemn Strike S card. Your fucking Divine Wrath. Or, no, your Infernity Barrier. Like, 
Like, ah, uh, so good. Oh, no, you went fucking mad. So you can go out and draw more cards. Like, all right. All right, then go to Yazi. Then that will go ahead and send you a Yang Zing monster from your deck to the graveyard. I believe. You have to go ahead and just foolish a Yang Zing card. Oh, no, you summoned from the deck. Yep. Path, so I'm just gonna be sitting here. I would love to, I, you know, I have, I would love to open up with Maxi and drop the Maxi on his ass, but uh, yeah, see, I opened up, I mean, it's less than 25% when they semi limited it, so rip on that. Wow, and they set a shit ton of back row. Holy crap. Alright, well, uh, this is more of the filler shit, Reckless. So, I mean, I have a good feeling that I'm probably gonna get hit with the fucking, um, with the Divine Wrath on my pot. So I'll banish 10 and not even draw. Uh, doesn't this have a graveyard effect? Uh, I'm going to summon a here. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up card you control, destroy it. If you do, special summon an Ancient Gear token. Okay. That wouldn't be a terrible target to pitch for Turn Twisters. Like, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pitch, pitch for Turn Twisters. And then hopefully hit his fucking shit, like I said. The <laughs> Yensen's is a stun deck now. They got, yeah, they got a searchable fucking Divine Wrath. You know, so... They're a stun deck. They're officially a stun deck. They've literally turned into fucking, um, into, uh, into infernities in a sense. Like, it's just, they go first. Like, wow, and then flip up the anti-spell? All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit that surrender button. <laughs> GG. Be right back. All right, another duel. Like, that wasn't good at all. I literally got stunned the hell out of and died, so. Nope, I got nothing. You made me go first. I don't want to go first. Going second, I can bust out my ultimate ancient gear golem. I was actually kind of worried that I wouldn't have enough uh, enough uh, ancient gears for him because you need you need ultimate, uh, ancient gear golem plus two other ancient gears. So I was kind of worried about that, but it seems like I'm doing okay. So I guess I can just go ahead and do this shenanigans right here. I can go tune table to tune table to tune table. I'm not playing tunes. I'm not playing tunes. This is literally just deck thinning. So the pot of desires is not terrible when you can go ahead and do this play. And then I can just go ahead and grab my last ancient gear. I got my ancient gear. Even though I don't think does two ancient gear count? I don't think he counts. I don't think he counts. I think it has to be ancient gear going. I can go into my ultimate. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't count, but he's a he's an eight. He's easy to get with my freaking shit like that. It'd be nice if he counted as a uh, ancient gear golem. <laughs> It'd be nice, but nope, he doesn't. So there goes a chunk out of your life points because that's what you get for not playing anything. Like I'm taking a slow because I don't want to go first. And then you took a slow and set nothing or did nothing. Going second, like I don't, I don't know what the hell with that man. You got, you're gonna get, you got destroyed. All right, I don't know what you're playing, but holy shit! All right, we'll get another duel. Get right back. All right, another duel. Uh, I prefer to go second. Yep. <laughs> I said there's really no point in me going first. Ah, I got that 25, 23 percent maxi. That's nice. That's nice. So if anything, I at least get a little bit of an upstart out of it. So we got our uh, ancient gear gadget. So that's fine. Nope, that's fine. As soon as you activate that ritual card and, you know, prepare to ritual summon. Oh my god, it's fucking uh, Necros. Alright. Oh, so you're just gonna get to search and end. Wow. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my gear town and hit it with the catapult, because I can. <laughs> I was, like I said, I was worried that I wouldn't get enough ancient gears to do my fusion. I'm just kidding. I'm shit. I'm getting plenty. I'm getting plenty. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon my ancient gear super reactor dragon, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my gear town, and then summon another ancient gear, like, Tell me that's not fucking stupid. Do you have some kind of effect that can clear attack, phone can activate monsters, blah blah blah, for the end of the turn, and then it becomes a gadget, and then do you have anything for any gadgets? This card should be summoning ancient gear, then I get piercing damage. This card should be summoned for an ancient gear monster, it can make a second attack. Oh, if I get tribute for an ancient gear, then I get pierced. I get, if I get tribute for a gadget, I get double pierce. This card, uh, damage type, you can activate spells and traps, and I get the pop card, I believe. So I think I'll just go ahead and summon Dragon. Like, just more ancient gear shit. So that play right there, that play is worth just running triple this and triple that. If I get it, I get it. It's pretty good. So go ahead and attack and attack. And then you'll probably start doing your Necros plays next turn. I got the Max C. I didn't get Poly though, so. Nor do I have an ancient gear right now, actually. So I could have my ancient gear gadget. Like, overall it wasn't terrible. I'll probably catch that Regeki, right? Like, this is the new engine gear. You just rip that he's level 9, because he, he would be a great trading target. We got plenty. I think I'm running two Gadgetrons, three of this, and three of my regular engine gear golems. So, uh, similar to the Chemical Beast deck profile that I put up today, uh, was it eight targets for the three tradings? I think that's, I think that's a fine ratio. Eight to three. 
I was talking about school. I was talking about school. So still just a pain in the fucking ass. Oh no, I'm gonna get trished. I'm gonna get trished out the ass. <laughs> the sad thing is that I really don't have anything else. Like uh, I had to fucking pitch that. Yep, yep. Real search that search this search that search. So uh, after Valkyrie, like, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you just go ham on my ass. So go ahead and play one of your mirrors. Can I come back into this duel? Because I'm about to lose, like, everything. At least I got the max C. Because I'm about to lose, like, everything. I'm about to get trished like a son of a bitch, right? Yep. Ah, Twin Twisters. I don't think that will be useful. All right. We took that. Yep. I guess that's what I get for playing. I said, you gotta, when you don't against Necrods and you know, you know you're going to get tricked, you got to play it right. I put shit in my graveyard, and I had shit in my hand and everything, and I had I put shit in my graveyard and my hand and fields, yep. So rip on that. I just took a nice chunk out of his life points, but goddamn. that Trish, Necro's a Trish. You get hit with Trish, and you're hurting. You're hurting. And all I did with my Max C is draw into an MST. I seriously doubt I'm going to get much use out of, so. At least right now, he has to... Oh, he got the pre-prep, too. At least he has to... Go a little bit farther because he can't get over my ancient gear dragon unless he goes a little bit farther. So I'm thinking maybe he'll summon the unicorn, let me draw, go into like a you know, like C play, maybe Tokyo Lightning or something like that. Cast out. No, he's just gonna leave it like that. Oh, okay. Oh, I got plenty of cards, so let's go ahead and pop the desires. And I drew into shit that I needed. Totally. So I can go ahead and summon this. This card is normal summon. I can card attack. I'm gonna call monsters. So you cannot activate your uh, Necros of Valkyrus. This is this is pretty good, Necros of Valkyrus. Then I can just poly it up and go into my ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. And uh, that should be game. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Pod Desires. That, wow, that Pod Desires was clutch as fuck. Tell me that fucking Pod Desires on the clutch as fuck. So if I attack... Is that game? Wait, is that game? I'm not sure if that's game. 4,100 is tight. I'm not sure if this is game. At least you can't hit. At least you can't necros of Valkyries. No, no. I think I think I'm 100 fucking short, people. I'm 100 fucking short. All right. I think I'm actually 100 fucking short. <laughs> wow. Yep. I'm 100 fucking short, which gives him plenty of opportunity to come back. And I said, it doesn't matter if your life points are 1,000 or 8,000 or 100. It doesn't matter. Game is game. So he could easily come back on my ass. That fucking sucks. But you know what? Definitely set this, because I don't want him to trish me again. So, that was a fine play. It was just not enough. It was so close to being game. God damn it. Why do you have just have just tiny bit amount of life points? <laughs> uh, and he has six cards in hand. He could easily come back and do At least he can't trish me again. Like, that's nice, but... And what I banish? I probably banish, like, all right, banish my two Twin Twisters, my Maxi, that's filler. Another pot, a lot of filler shit, a lot of filler shit. Banish my Catapults, though, like, rip on that. And I banish my other Maxi, which I would love to have in my hand in exchange for freaking fucking Twin Twisters. Like, what the fuck am I doing with Twin Twisters, right? Yep. Some Unicorn gets searched, like, wow. Can't believe it. Like, if I lose this duel... Like that that just goes that just goes to show he's fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Like one hundred fucking life points. One hundred fucking life points and he's gonna come back on my ass. Like damn. Yep. That was a pretty good play. If only it was game. If only that was game. If only it was just a little bit stronger. Or if he just had just the less life points. I and I got hella damage in too. Like that's what I'm saying. I got hella damage in too. Mm-hmm. See those two into Castell, yeah. Thought maybe like Dark Rebellion, but nope, Castell. Like of course, a hundred fucking light points. I hope go ahead and put my Ancient Gear back, which of course he's an old card. So if this card is destroyed, not fucking, not anything else. If he's destroyed, not removed from the field. Wow, one hundred light points. Wow, one hundred light points. <laughs> you you probably have this. I'm low on resources, and I fucking have nothing. And you're just plussing and searching and plussing and grabbing back. Like, you're, you got two Necro the Valkyrus in your hand, so you can block all my attacks. So, is, it, is Necro the Valkyrus a direct attack? Your opponent monster card is a direct attack. So, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck I can do right now. Like, wow. Like, what the fuck can I do right now? Tune Table. Do I even have anything left? I can Tune Table for Tune Table for my fucking Tune Ancient Gear and then do nothing. 
maybe maybe I'll survive and draw into fucking trading. Like, just, like, oh my god, why? Why a hundred fucking life points? Like, are you shitting me? A hundred fucking life points, people. I'm deck thing, but I still have I have nothing. I can't summon this. I can't do shit. So that's probably game. Like if he could just summon out one, if he can get one more card to summon, tack tack with these two and something else. Like that's game. That's game. He has a Necro the Valkyries. Like wow, it's really upsetting. It's it's just a twin twister, a dead twin twister. Yep, yep. You have it. You have it. Wow. See, see, see. Doesn't matter. See, doesn't matter. Damn. Damn! Like, are you fucking shitting me? I had him! I had him and he just... Oh my god. Fucking luck, man. Fucking luck. Yu-Gi-Oh! There's luck in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm sorry. It's not all about skill. I'm getting another duel. Bear back. Wow. I thought my play was pretty good too, but nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's going first. Oh, and I got that 23% uh, max C. Sent that C. Oh, and we got the hat too? Hell yeah, I'm fucking dropping the max C on the unexpected die. Nigga, you're probably trying to fucking... Do something cute, like a whole bunch of synchro plays, or fucking bust out a whole bunch of treat toads. Oh, or that, or that, or master pendulum, metal foes pendulum. All right. <sighs> the question is, does he have Keating? At least Keating's limited to one. I can probably still just run like the bunker dude just to get the Keating to fuck with me. All right. Are you done? Got the hats too, so that's nice. Twin twisters. Yeah, oh, hot desires. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and draw two. Cause it's still a plus one. It's still a fucking pot of greed, man. So good. Ooh, ooh, and I can twin twisters pop your shit. I think I think I think I still want to pop twisters. I could twin twisters and pop my own card, my pop my gear town, and then pop your set card. Not sure about this the metal foes. I kinda I think that getting rid of the metal foes would be fine. Plus I want to get a monster to get rid of this. I'm not gonna get rid of your combination, obviously. Plus your set card, it might it might just be another fucking metal foes shit. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and activate Gear Town. I'm gonna pitch the, the golem. I don't man, do I wanna pitch the golem? I want the hats. And I kinda want the poly, maybe? What's more important? The poly or the Nah, because I can get other ancient gears. I can get other ancient gears, so. I'm go ahead and twin twister. Pitch that and pop yours and pop mine. Cause this this might just be another metaphor shit. Oh, it's counter. Like I said, it was, I was like, it's probably just another metaphor shit. Do I miss timing with this? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. I didn't know that I missed timing with this. <laughs> yep, yep. It says one. God damn it, one. God damn it, one. <laughs> Ah, uh, fucking win. Win, 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 win. And I don't even have a monster to deal with magical hats. Wow, that win fucked me up. God damn it, why? Why? Like, why? they should literally just it and say everything that says win is now if. Why do I always miss timing with fucking everything? It's so stupid. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm gonna fucking... I could warn him that. Like, I guess it's better than fucking getting tacked for 19 and not doing anything. And at least I'll go to the graveyard. Better than nothing. My like, god damn it. Wow. I miss I miss timing. I miss timing. It would have been the last thing to resolve, but then the fucking counter went off. The other one, twin twister, pop your shit, pop my shit, and then thing went off. But I missed timing because you activated your counter. You know? Okay, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Ah, uh, missing timing sucks, and I have no monsters for hats. Like, if I had a monster for hat, that'd be great. Yep. So, you're going to Pendulum Summon? That's fine. I don't care about Gofu. Hopefully, the fucking Gofu shenanigans make that Ultima and shit, so. And tokens would be beautiful to pierce if I just had something to pierce them with. You gonna set up your pendulum skills or you're done? Centric? You actually gonna use your centric? Nope, you're just gonna pendulum summon two. One? Pendulum summon one. One? I don't care about that. You're just gonna pendulum summon one, sure. Sure, you can have that. That's what I'm mad at. I'm mad that I missed timing because of you. Like, that's what I'm mad at. 
I'm fucking centric. Pop my eggs, Polly. All right. Can I get my fucking? Is it, can, I, can I get my fucking ancient gear that gets this fucking search? I haven't seen him. The the normal summon one. My fucking Stratos. I haven't seen him at all. Shit. Uh, I'm sure getting this fucking table. My tomb table though. That's cute. That then I'm like a son of a bitch, but I still got nothing. And I can't summon my, like, how come whenever I need to draw into something, I just draw into the fucking tomb table? I can't do shit. Like, constantly. My fucking magical hats can't do shit. Like, I, I, this might be game. Andy gets his supply squad. Like, how come they always draw into something and I don't draw into shit? Like, ugh, terrible, terrible luck. Terrible luck. Of course I, of course it was a fucking counter to fucking make me miss timing. Of course. Of course it was. I think I might be dead. Wow. I feel bad. I feel bad, man. Like, if I, if I, would, if I didn't miss timing, I would have had my ancient gear, Dragatron, Dragon. I would have attacked the monster. We would have been golden. Like, I'm done. I'm done. We're going to get one more duel, and hopefully I get something. Bear back. All right. This will be the last duel. Anyway, school is a pain in the dick. Like, the assignments are... Assignments are just a lot. Like, I literally am doing the exact same assignment that I did the first week for the fourth week. Like, this is the last week. I have 100% in the class. That's fine. Uh, I gotta do yet another fucking, um... Oh my god, man. Thank you. I gotta do yet another lesson plan. I gotta do a lesson plan every week, so this is lesson plan number four. And I have to, of course, I'm this. Like, I'm gonna draw this. <laughs> It's such a bad draw. Wow, and I would love to fucking have Max C. Instead, you're just gonna open up with that fucking Shirinui Sage. Let's go. That you know me, Shirinui Sage. When I love to open up with Max C. But nope. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yep. Yep. You gonna go that first ton Omega? Because why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? That Shirinui Solitaire, I think that's what it changed his name to. Yep. Omega. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, and the Shadal Fusion? So what, you can go into window and lock me out of dueling? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, kill me now. <laughs> kill me the fuck now. Alright, so. Useless ass twin twister, awesome, awesome. Right, I got that. So, I guess I can just go ahead and go tune table, tune table, tune table. Yeah, give me the poly. Yeah, need the poly. Maybe if I draw into Ancient Gear Golem, like, fucking just sucks that Toon Ancient Gear doesn't count as Ancient Gear Golem. Like, it's just so stupid, but he doesn't, so. I'm just gonna dex in and then hope that I draw into something. Hope that I draw into something. And if I don't, then I'm dead. Like, simple as that. So. Pot of Desires? That'd be, that'd be awesome. Nope, nope. Drew into a fucking warning. That would have been useful last turn. So, nope, I got nothing. That's game. Oh, my luck is terrible. Damn. Go right back again. I, I want to get at least one decent end duel. Damn. All right. Like, this is one of the main reasons why I don't want to play, like, competitive Yuga or anything. Because my luck is ass. Oh, I finally got my fucking Ancient Gear Wyvern. Cool. Cool, that's nice. I can at least get to search. At least I can search for Ancient Gear Golem. Like, shit, I'm not even sure how I feel about the fucking Ancient Gear shit. Yep. You play Pot of Cupidity going first, which means that he actually draws in six cards. Six cards, which means that fuck the, the previous rule, you know? The rule where the person going first goes five, because he draws until plus one, which is six. So now we're literally back to uh, the rules of uh, uh, previous Yu-Gi-Oh. Did this card activate? That's part of Social Summon. You can. Social Summon. So you activate the effect, right? Never fucking mind. Never mind. Th oh, he has a one summon token. So you're gonna activate your effect? Bitch. Wow, he opened up a multiple. Multiple. At least I get that. Like, this is an inherent summon that I can't respond to, but this, I can at least get that. I'm not even sure how I feel about the the, the two ancient gears. Like, they're, if his name was Ancient Gear Golem, then I can use him for my hand, and sure, but I just keep on drawing this fucking tune table and shit. He ain't doing shit. Drink another poly. Like, fucking terrible ass luck. <laughs> like whatever the opposite of fucking good luck is, that, that's what the luck I have. Are you gonna actually take the maxi challenge or are you just gonna end? Wow, wow, uh oh shit, he has level eater? Oh shit, he might deck me out. I at least have 50 cards, but I already know this deck can drop a shit storm. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking level eater. This card can't use a synchro terror on the field, so I think he might be done unless you wanna do an XC play. 
Or you want to tell me Mally? Like, I thought it couldn't be used as a single out in the field. No, I wouldn't be. That wouldn't make sense if it couldn't be used as a single out in the field. Uh, I guess I'm taking the maxi challenge right now. This or that, or maybe the tokens can't be used as synchro materials. God damn, he's just like, like, yep. Let's go. I max seed them, and I'm gonna die for it, probably. <laughs> I max seed, and I'm gonna die. Like, if I get a turn, I might have some plays. Cause I at least out resource him. Like, I have the resources. Just once he's surprised if he drops like a quasar and shit, we might. All right. I'll lead off a Moonlight, draw a card. Do you have any more tuners? And then you quit! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, I just wanted to get one more decent duel. Ugh, bear back. Ugh, that's that. Mega Capital D put up that video. Going second is just not as good as it used to be anymore. Unless your deck absolutely wants to go second, it's just not as great anymore. Which most deck wants to go second, so. I got Potter Desires at least, but I'm not feeling the fucking tune table and the fucking uh, Ancient Gear Golem. Wow, wow. Can see the Lori Calcos. Let's go. Drop the fucking Lefic Cyber end on my ass. Like, all right. How the fuck am I supposed to deal with that right now? Like, I don't just draw into the same fucking shit. Yeah, I'm taking out the tune table. It's not working. It's not working. I just draw into tune tables to draw into fucking tune ancient gear, and he ain't doing shit. And I don't have Polly, nor am I strong enough to fucking deal with this fucker. Like. I don't have shit right now. Like, wow, I'm actually gonna lose because someone played Seal of Calcos and fucking summons just Malefic Cyber. I'm like, alright, alright. I got Warning and Strike! If I would've went first, I could've at least hit him with the fucking Solemn Warning. Or Solemn Strike, I think that's an Inherent Summon. Yeah, I think that's an Inherent Summon. I don't think it starts a chain. But instead, I got two, I got triple fucking two Nation Gear Golems. He ain't doing shit, don't got trading, don't got nothing. Like, alright, alright. Like, my luck is just terrible. I'm done. I'm done after this. This video's going on for 30 fucking minutes. Of course you had the Twin Twister. Of course you did. Of course you fucking did. Like, wow. Uh, I need Trayden or a Polly. Actually, you know what? Not even Polly because my Twin Ancient... I mean, my fucking Ultimate Ancient Gear is only, like, what, 40? Right? No, I'm just gonna draw to my Ancient Gear, Judge Trump Dragon. Wow! My luck is so bad! Like, sucking... Oh, my God! I hate how luck-based Yu-Gi-Oh is. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. GG. GG. G fucking G. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. Holy shit. Why are you fucking shitting me with this terrible ass luck? These, eight, these two ancient gears are trash. I'm not, not doing anything. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. Wow. That was terrible. That was. That was. All. The majority of this fucking video is terrible because my luck is fucking ass. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Done. Done. Oh, I apologize, people. I apologize. We'll be back next Friday with some more ancient gear shenanigans. But holy shit! Like, are you fucking shitting me right now? Are you fucking shitting me? <sighs> like, if only you counted as ancient gear. Like, what? What the fuck is this hand? Not trading. Not nothing in sight. Just drawing a shit ton of these and not doing anything with them. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, there we're done. We're done with this week's daily duels. Yeah. Uh, I get I get the weekend off, so I don't have to deal with daily duels for the weekend. Come back on uh, Monday. Yeah. Hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. If you guys have any suggestions, I'll be willing to hear. But holy shit! All right, people. Thanks for watching.